So to start with, today we're talking about common mistakes in parenting. So I want you to start with your experience growing up. What are the mistakes that you saw that, okay, parent day in your generation, at least my generation is different from your generation. So in your generation, what are the things you saw that this were the common mistakes that was happening and your personal experience is growing up? Also, compare it to what are, what are the things that is happening in our days in, in this present generation and what are the things that, well, it was a mistake then and it's still a mistake now and we all need to work on. on. Go ahead, mommy. All right, good morning. Good morning, Oye. Oh yeah. Good to be here. Good, good to be back Thank on you, this platform. I honestly, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You're doing a good job. Thank you for bringing me Thank back you, to your community again. I'm excited to be here. Thank you very, yeah, very much. You know, I'm going to thank you, Mommy. <laughs> thank you. Thank I'll, you for the love. I appreciate it. No matter how busy you, I am, I will always make out time for you. And of course, I'm, I'm blushing now. Mommy. You see that? I have Mama. <laughs> thank, thank you, Mommy. I'm, I'm catching the kisses. <laughs> and of course, on this course, on this okay. journey of parenting, uh, um, there's, no, there's no resting, there's no relaxing until we see that God's mandate is fulfilled in as much as we are still on this side of eternity. And so every opportunity to let this vision go out, it's always um, a well appreciated opportunity for me. And it, I'm, I'm always excited about it. So thank you very much for having me. Okay, everybody, you you're coming. welcome. I'm just sorry, please mommy. This morning. Okay. Just a moment, I'm sorry to cut you short, but I have to acknowledge the presence of one of my mommies, Mommy Pat. Okay. She's right there. Thank you so much, Mommy, for joining. Mommy Pat, Oluro team, I can see you right there. That's one of my mamas. Thank you for joining, Mommy. I can see oh, you right there. Wow. Go ahead, Mommy. Uh, all, all right. Okay. So for everyone joining online this morning, thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning. This is really important. And um, it's important we just kick it off. All right. We are talking about common mistakes in parenting, common mistakes that parents make in the journey of parenting, in the course of parenting. And like you said, you said you would like me to start with uh, probably my experience in my generation. Okay. Um, I'm not too old, so don't make me don't make it look like I'm very old. <laughs> I'm not too old. You are, but, but... you are forever young, mommy. <laughs> Thank you. But well, I'm 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 above four decades, four decades. So just try and calculate that. Okay. But then in my own time, starting with my own experience, parenting then wasn't something one of one of major things i faced was the fact that children were being seen and not being heard the acknowledgement can you hear me yes mommy if you can hear me good so one of the challenges then was or what they were not doing right then was that children were practically just being seen and not being heard you know they just, um, they know that children exist and then we are there, but our ideas are not really, really welcomed. We don't even have the, where is the mouth you want to use to talk to your parent? Either you feel good about their decision or you don't feel good about it, you can't talk. And it was so, so bad then that it's your parent that will pick up, even up to, they'll make decision on what uh, course you're going to study even in higher institution. They buy the jam form, they fill the course for you, and they just tell you you're going to be a medical doctor. And then, for crying out loud, you that they, are, that they are thinking should be a medical doctor or must be a medical doctor, you don't even like the sight of blood. In the process of um, them giving you medicine and all that, you don't take drugs. I think a network you don't, is not balanced. You give them a lot of okay, work too. Okay. Okay. Are we good? All right, you're back now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I was saying that children, back then, it was more like children had been seen more than being heard. 
the you, the aspect of children um giving their opinion about any issue even on their own self how much more the family thing that happened at home children are just being seen no seen no you don't have any opinion what do you know that you want to say that was the feeling of parents then and so it was is as bad as parents picking up jam form for you and transform for higher institution and then they feel it and then feel the cost they want you to do and you're like oh they are telling you you must i want to be mama doctor i want to be baba doctor at least let my friends say mm. that my child is a medical doctor my child is a lawyer yeah oh, i'm a father of an engineer mm. you know and then our parents kept moving from what was in vogue according to profession any profession that is in vogue they want to take they take pride in having a child in that profession and then they pick up the form for you and fill it in and then they leave you to go and struggle in higher institution without thinking okay does this child have capacity for this does this child like this you know that's why we have a lot of medical students who see at the site of cadaver they faint in their medical school they can't even <laughs> they can't do what they are supposed to do even though they can try to read and understand what is being taught in class but the practical aspect and i want to believe that that has contributed to why we have doctors who are not really really doing what they are supposed to do or what the profession entails and not just medical line alone in every other sector and so parents would prefer to lord their impression to lord what they feel what they think on the child not even thinking of the effect it's going to have on the child either mentally psychologically emotionally and so it was one of those things that we we i went through then and i also went through the aspect of okay i have a lot of questions but no mm, parents are not available to answer my questions you know um i'm wondering why am i feeling this way in my body now i've grown i've started my menstrual cycle and then i'm ovulating why do i why do i why is there a discharge before my ovulate before my um menstrual cycle on monthly basis no, you know and we learned this we we had to learn this thing through integrated science in the classroom but it's always better if a mom is there to explain to a daughter what and what is going on in the child's body system and then some persons have got have uh some persons couldn't learn it in a proper way they learned it with bad experiences engaged mm. with it and so things like that you know um the uh, we also uh, we also have the experience of um this aspect of somebody coming to report you to your parents and then your your parents just doesn't even want to know what happened they're not asking you what happened the neighbor saw you at the junction with your classmate or with somebody especially when it is opposite sex and then the neighbor gives you serious pounding and hitting and then she gets back home to go and tell your mom your daughter has been at the junction for the past one hour exaggeration you know and then the mother too is not thinking okay when did i send her out could she have spent one hour did she really spend the one hour the mother is not even asking the question the next thing is the serious founding, the African style of correcting children. What were you doing at the junction? All the slap, hits, and all of that. And then you're like, oh, I, I just saw my classmate pass and greeted. And that was just the time that my, my, my mom's friend passed by. And you know, there's no room for you to explain a lot of things. But these days, your children would ask you, they would even ask Let's you several talk. why. Let's work. I okay. Oh wow. So is it better now? So we have we have right, thank you so much, that. mommy. But but it was not all bad then. Hmm. There are a lot of good ways that we experienced in parenting that is still helping us still today. And today's parents are not putting it into practice. Today's parents our thinking is obsolete and whereas it's not is still very much needed even at this time so that's it for now <laughs>
<laughs> that's awesome thank you so much for and i was like oh i heard that i've seen that even though i didn't experience that though thank god for my parents and thank god for i, I wasn't in your generation <laughs> so we thank god for that uh that was awesome and i Oh, and you're still going to hear more about that. I can see that, dear Kintayo. Thank you, Daddy, for joining. God bless you. I saw uh, Miss Remy. Thank you for joining. If you are still there, I saw Sister Toy. Thank you for joining. I saw you the other time. I'm so glad to see you on this platform. Thank you for so much for joining. Please don't forget that you can drop your questions, concerns, and worries as we go ahead. Feel free to drop your questions, and by the grace of God, I uh have. -huh. Sister Uluwatoi, if you're still there, thank you so much, sis, for joining. God bless you. God bless you. And I remember growing up, I was also that talkative girl. You know, I, I can talk, like really, really talk. It almost gave me a psychological problem. Like, I was like, what did I do? I couldn't even figure out what happened. I'm the type that I want to ask questions. I want to contribute. So, and it looked, you know, it looked very rude, very rude. And this is one of the common mistakes in parenting then, and I think it's still happening. Like, when you... Uh, misunderstood a, a, a child who is in, inquisitive to a rude child. It's common. Really it's common. Talkative. And also, yes, like you just want to know. Asking a question is not a problem. Mommy, what is this? Mommy, why is that person walking bent? Like, why, why, why is that person limping? It's a question. Mm -hmm. But if I remember asking some questions like that, the what I would get is shut up. How dare you? That's rude. It's not rude. Parent, True. it's just a question. If you don't know the answer, you just tell. We, I actually don't know the person's story, but some people get to limp maybe because of accident or because God made them specially and they're just perfect just the way they are. So most mm -hmm. of the time we mix up things. Asking a question is not a problem. However, mommy, you know, I've noticed this, that it's also vice, vice versa, that some people actually take their root children, very root children to be intelligent, like a child is very rude. So it's, a, it's something that we have to be very, very careful about. A child can be yeah. so inquisitive, very intelligent, just want to know, and you misunderstood the child for being rude. Also, a child can really, really be rude, no manner. And because of, you know, the jet, jet age, it's okay. And friends are even laughing about it. So it's a thing that we have to balance up. It's very, very important. If care is not taken, we, we, we can overdo it or underdo it. All right, okay, mommy, let's go to into today's generation. Being a parent yourself and having parents around you and talking to parents, uh, being a counselor. So what are the things that you have seen that is so common in this our generation that is common mistakes in parenting? And in, in your own parenting skills, what are the things that, you know, if not for the grace of God, I will have done like this and this is not right? Okay, um, like, like the example you gave about um, you talking and then, Back then, they felt you were talking too much. I said, like the example you gave. Can you hear me? Thumbs up. If I you can, can hear you. Me. Sorry, I'm not that. Yeah, I can hear you. I'm also just reading the comments. I don't want to miss okay. out in case there's question. Like, okay. This is like Tatoyin. This is you your you. Yeah, she said. Let me just read it out, mommy. She said, in fact, that was my most embarrassing moment in my life. My mom beat me from my extra moral class to the house just because she saw me say hello to a male colleague. I was so embarrassed. Can you see that? So our parents, you know, and the truth is that for me personally, I can't remember one day my mom telling me, now you're menstruating, uh, this is how it is, you don't, we just, yeah, be careful now. I remember that day, I just woke up and I said, take this, put there, use this part, uh, be careful, that was it. So, yet, they are always like on our toes don't when they see us say hello don't and let hi to men. You. Yes, don't touch a boy, I tell you, I tell you. See, they, I'm not saying our parents didn't do well, but there was a lot of fault that we in this generation must not repeat. We can't afford to fail on yeah. our children. They didn't fail. They did what, you know, I always say something. The knowledge you don't have, what you don't know, you cannot pass it across. So it, it wasn't their fault. Yes. They didn't know better. So thank God for God and thank God for everything, the knowledge that we have this day. So we don't want to do the same mistakes. We want to get, want to get better. We want our positive parenting skills to be better. Please over to you, mommy. Go ahead. All right, so um, I was talking about the example you gave about um, you being inquisitive as a child, and then it could be termed as being rude or being a talkative child, and then you keep hearing things like, you talk too much, shut up, keep quiet, this, that, you know. This is, this is one way that a parent can make a mistake by, you know, you are killing the child's ability to learn 
Because even one of the ways to learn, one of the ways we learn, one of the ways parents must understand that children learn is by asking questions. So sometimes they are asking questions and it is probably not relevant to us, but for that child to ask the question, I think that child is thinking of something about it around it. It could even be questioned from their cartoon, from anything they saw in class, somewhere they went to and all that. So all of these things are things we must put into consideration. All right, let me start. I just put um, a few things here that I will share with us within the frame of time. The very first one, which is highly important, that you, um, the parents of this age must put attention to is ourselves first as a parent. Self-management. You see, a parent who is not right here can be right in the hand. Self-management. You must be able to, to balance your own life as a parent. Put attention on yourself. Learn and perfect the act of your own self-management. Be sane to put your children right. If you are not okay emotionally, you can't pass across, you can't model or teach or train your child's emotions. You can't help your child to, um, to define his or her emotion challenges. You can't help your child's emotion to be balanced. You can't, there's no way, what you don't have, you just mentioned it, what you don't have, the knowledge you don't have, you can't pass it across. No one can give what he or she does not have. And so if you are not okay, if you have not been able to balance yourself, balance your life system, balance your health, balance, be all right emotionally, there is no way to not affect your parenting style. So one common mistake we'll, we make as parents is the fact that we want to focus on our children and lose ourselves. No, that's not it. That's not it. So balance your own self, nurture yourself. I call it self-nurture. Nurture yourself. Nurture yourself in, uh, intellectually. You don't read, you don't have any information there. When the students come and ask you questions, you just be looking at them like, it's almost like you don't have answer to any of their questions. And then they become curious. How come my mommy doesn't know anything? I'm not saying you should know everything. What you know, you're gonna tell them you know. And the ones you don't know, you tell them, okay, I'm gonna find out about it. And when you put attention to it, go and find out, go and read, go and ask questions about it. And then come back and give that child what you know that is right. So the child does not go out to go and learn something different or something negative. So put attention on yourself, find balance, within yourself as a parent, as, as a couple, within yourself, find balance with yourself as an individual, and then it's gonna help you parent. Don't think that you can parent successfully or parent intentionally when you are not intentional about your lifestyle, when you're not intentional about your any aspect of your life. There is no way you can be an intentional parent when you're not intentional about your lifestyle. You want your child to be spiritual, you've got to be spiritual intentionally. I know it might not be really, really easy because you have a lot to do, but ensure that the children who are not seeing you praying cannot learn the acts of prayer. The children who are not seeing you go to church cannot learn that there is a supreme being somewhere that they must submit to. The children who are not seeing you respectful cannot easily have respect. And all of these values are things that you can't break their head and put in it. You can't beat them to know it. You can't flog them to know it. You can't shout them to know it. So ensure that you have uh, a way of balancing yourself. Self-management is key. Nurture yourself. And as you nurture yourself, you will see that you will have enough, um, enough knowledge, enough values to dish out to your children. Don't leave yourself out of the place and say, now I'm a mother. You know, even up to self-care, now I'm a mother, I can't take care of myself. Why are you looking rough, madam? Because all these children, they are not I'm letting me even iron my clothes. It is because of all my children, that's why I'm wearing rough full top. It is because of my children, that's why I'm, you know, we love to give a lot of excuses and then we love to use them as excuses. Please, you can always do it right. You can always give time to yourself. You can always nurture yourself because moreover, Thank you. children even learn more. 
by what they see you do because today so you know that what you want to see yes parenting has to be do as i do not just do as i say mm -hmm. parents True. children these days are smarter than do as i say it was my own time that we we're doing do as i say now children will ask you why mom why <laughs> They will True. ask you why. Definitely. The why is very, is very close to their lips. Then we can ask. Now children can ask. So, so just make sure that um, you try and work on self management. And then the next one I want to. Mommy, I'll just give you. A I'll just give you a brief break. I'll just give you a very brief break. Thank you so much okay. for that. Give us a moment to digest all you have said. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you very much. God oh, bless man. you. God bless you. And believe, Amen. I'm getting blessed myself, and I believe everyone is getting blessed. Please, you can just get your pen and just write, write, write. I like to learn a lot. I like to learn. Thank you so much for that. We're still going to talk more about that. So simply what mommy is saying is self-management is key. See, you model what you want to see. It's a simple word. You can't say do hmm. what I say and not what I do. Not, it doesn't work mm. in this generation. And sometimes you get tired of why, how, when. You know, but you keep, yeah, because they don't own the time. They, you cannot hold a black pen and tell the, you know, our children of this generation and say, this is great. They won't take it. They will tell you what they have seen. They won't help you. They won't polish it for you. The way it is, is what yeah. they're going to tell you. And about self-management, you see, I've said it in the last video and I made a video about it before. Your mental health is a must. If you are not in a good state mentally, See, I made a video also on uh, anger management. These are very important. If you want to be intentional about parenting, your mental health must be in place. You have to be able to know how to manage your anger. There's a whole lot that is involved. It's not automatic. Yeah. And if these things are not in place, there will always be a mistakes in parenting. No one is perfect. Yeah. We are all just working towards perfection. So exactly. I see there's a lot of comments that has been dropped. Please, babe, can you just help me if there's any question? I can see a lot of comments, but I'm trying to get them but they are just moving on i can see uh, a lot of comment thank you for joining but in case you have question don't worry i'm going to get the question just drop your question and we are going to attend to them we have a uh, we have we still have a, quite a lot of time and one thing i would say something before i just uh, ask mommy shola to go ahead is our job sometimes we miss up our job as parent what is our job as parent sincerely our job as mother as father what is our job we have only one job our job is to love our children unconditionally Mm. be it bad child in court love be it amazing child love see if this aspect is settled every other thing will fall in place but we forget yeah. our job our primary assignment as parents and we focus on something that are not very important a child that you cannot love because the child is not good the report you are getting you're already angry you're already upset there is no there is no way you can change the life of that child so we should always remember as parent as caregiver, our job is to love. See, this is it. Forget every other, forget about every other job. If you love, everything is going to fall in place. Love unconditionally. The child is not okay. Love. The child is feeling love. That's it. Only in love that you can mold your child. Only in love that you can break down and rebuild. But if this statement is not in place, your parenting is going to be questionable. I think in Kalashi area, I can see you right there. Thank you for joining. God bless you, my darling. Go ahead, mommy. And so the um the second one I would like to mention, you've started it already, is um the second mistake I like to mention is the aspect of parents trying to box their children. In the quest of um uh the fear in the quest of trying to do it right, most parents engage in boxing their child or their children. Eventually, they, uh, they make the child, they restrict the child from uh, growing, from exploring, from learning, because they don't want to lose control for the child. They don't want to lose control. They want to box the child. They want the child to be, this is how uh, you're going to be uh, doing things, and then you have to do it that way, it has to be that way. And this child, has another ability of learning how to do it better or another way of doing that thing parents just want it they want the children to just be obeying 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 they are in control they don't want to lose control and again it's you know it's actually better it's better for a parent to be interested 
in releasing control to the child rather than having control over the child like you must this is what you must do what do i mean in some areas you know you want your child to learn some things and yes you are not presenting what you want your child to learn you are not giving room for the child to learn that thing to uh, practice it to get it done you your child is of age of um, cooking and then you are scared of letting the child undo the kitchen. You are scared of letting the child use the gas cooker. You are scared of letting the child sweep because you feel the child, it won't be clean. So let me do it. Of course, some parents, I know that some parents get to do it in the quest of, instead of wasting my time, let me just do it sharp, sharp, and big. Uh, my child is going to spend 30 minutes on it. Let me do it in five minutes and I, and I know it's done, it's done. It's better you let that child do it 30 minutes and learn the process of doing it 30 minutes and with time the child will learn how to do it in 20 minutes and then the child gets to 10 minutes and then the child perfects it to that five minutes that you think that thing is going to be done. Don't box your child. Stop boxing your children. Let them express themselves. Let them make their mistakes. See, we parents, we don't want our children, we are too fearful. We don't want them to make mistakes. We don't want them to spoil anything. I anything. tell you, I tell you. Mm -hmm. And by so strictly doing, we are boxing these children. See, the children that God is creating and releasing to this age and this time are children that came with wow knowledges. Things that eyes have not you, seen, ears have not heard. Things that didn't happen in our time are the things that are happening now. Have you wondered why a three-year-old, even less than that, knows how to just navigate your, your, your phone? Or your tablet have you wondered <laughs> while adults are learning how to on off and all of that the child knows what to press the child knows how to speak to google the child knows how to do one thing or the other on your own phone on your phone you have a lot of help that you've not even tried because you don't have time but your children let them have your phone they know how to put those things together and they do it and you're you're wondering wow is this thing on my phone Mommy, and why? that because, is why we have to. Why? Because they can explore. Okay. That's the age they are in. That's the kind of children God is. So if you keep boxing your children and you're like, okay, don't move, don't go out, don't do this, don't do that, it's most likely you will lose that child because by the time you get to understand that this child didn't learn what he or she ought to learn, it would have, time would have passed. And then I always prefer prevention True. because prevention is always better than cure. Now we box them to learn just the hard skills. We pay school fees, we send them to school and all of that. But how about the soft skills? What are we doing about them? How about the values on that soft skills? How, what are we doing about them? We hire maids to get their laundry done. We hire maids to get the house done because we think, let my child just face his or her academics. Fine. By the time that child is done, and then the child comes out with first class, you will discover that talent and that result, that certificate is not enough. Because talent will never be enough. That child who has that great talent needs how to uh, develop good relationship and how to keep quality relationship. That child needs to learn the soft skill of how to um, relate with his or her bosses. If the child does not know how to relate with you from home, by the time he's employed, he'll be fired after a month, after two months. Why? Because mm -hmm. True. he does not have the soft skill of respect. He doesn't know how to relate with people at work. He can't do teamwork and all of that. And they won't teach all of these things in school. Parents, mm -hmm. wake up. Stop expecting that the school teachers will teach your child how to respect, how to be neat. You know, all of these things that normally we learn them from home. I know times have changed. I know we no longer have the opportunity to keep our children at home till five years old or till four before they get to school. Of course, there are even positive, um, there are advantages to if a child re uh, starts school early and all of that. But these things, look for how to teach them those soft skills at home. What are you doing with a with, with twelve year old that can't boil water, that can't make ever, that 
that can make pap, that can make custard, that can cook normal no juice. What are you doing? Stop boxing your children. Thank you, mommy. Wake up, Thank you, mommy. I'll just, I'm just going to stop you now. Uh, see, you have, you have said a lot in a few minutes that I can say, okay, I can bring about like 10 topics. It's so awesome. Wow. Well done. Well done. You're doing fantastic. I'm so blessed. Like, ah, mommy is saying this. I made a video. I can remember. I can remember that. You know, it's, it's very, that's why it's very important for us to write down. It's, it's so compound. What yeah. she's said in a few minutes, I can make, I don't know, 20 videos from it. It's awesome. And I'm just going to pick some, some of these things out. And I'm going to read something again from Sister Toy. Uh, I'm, uh, those ones, the other ones, I can't get them. Uh, you said something about uh, the, the three years old being able to navigate on the, on, the, on the phone and things like that. And that is on why as parents, we have, yes, that's why we have to answer their questions. See, if you don't answer your child's question, you think, I don't know how to answer that. It's too much for, for me. How would I explain that? Your child will go on Google. Google will explain. If you are shy that's away it. from telling your child, if I, keep, I see at home, if my son wants to learn anything or my daughter, they know how to search these things. So if there's something they are asking you, please don't shy away. Don't think, how do I say that? How do I explain it? Find a way. It's your job. That's your duty. If not, see, they'll go to Google and Google is going to explain. They will dig deep. So when they come to you, please embrace their coming. Welcome them. Let, let them know that they are welcome. And you mentioned something about uh, parents thinking that, okay, they... they they're not going to be taught this once in school. I've been an LES teacher, and this has made me to see a lot of things. You know, some parents, I've seen parents who came to me in the past, like, my child is ready for potty training now. I was like, okay, so what? It's not my job. Uh, can you teach my child how to eat? Then I'll tell them, see, me, I'm an African. So I'll not look at your face. It's not my job. Tell, I'll tell them, tell me when you're ready. Start it, and I'll tell you, I'll guide you on how to go about it. So a lot of parents, they don't really know it's their job. They don't know. And that's why we said earlier, what you don't know, how can you, how can you impart? They mm. don't know. They think it's not their job. If my child is ready for potty training, I'll just go to the class teacher. Uh, the child is ready. What are, you, what are your plans? I've heard so many things. Like, what are your plans? Can you please support my child? He's not feeding. Uh, a boy of four years that the mother is telling me to feed. I'm sorry. Sorry, I can't. When the child returns home with the food first, the second, the third, and they know that the management will never follow you. They, they, they're not. See, you need my services. I need your money. This is the way I work. You need my services, I need your money, and I know my job. See, the boy returned the food first, the second day, third day, they started bringing finger food. What they were supposed to teach the child at months and year, we started teaching four years finger food. Now you can pick your apple and eat. That's, that's a big failure on the parent part, but they didn't even see it. How do we go about explaining these things to them? So please, parent, let's know what is our duty and don't let us feel on our part. Sister Tony says something, said, um, uh, show... Sure, okay, uh, that comment is gone, but I read it before. She was saying something about, uh, wait, about our, our parents. I read it. She said that about our parents. How do we show our children love? Because our parents didn't teach us how to show love. I can't get the, uh, the question, but the, the point is they want you to explain more about how do we show our children love. Like for me personally, I made a video before and I said, I never heard from my mommy or daddy telling me, one day I love you. Is it because they, they, they loved, I know my parents loved me. My mom, they loved me so much. But I never heard it from their mouth one day. Oh, sweet darling, I love you. It's because they didn't know it was too big. It was a complex word. They're like, ah, love, okay. Love. So how do we now, with that we grew up in that way, thank God for those of you that you were born with silver spoon or what is it? I wasn't born with a uh, plastic spoon and and spoon, you don't understand. So now, how do we, that we're raised like that, how do we show love? I think that was the question from Sister Toyin. So how do we go about it? How do we go about it? And that's why we are crying, we are shouting that our job is to love, 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 love. See, the word love is a common thing in our house. I don't think my children are like, what? they know mommy loves daddy so much, daddy loves mommy so much. But I will just keep it open for you, I'll push it to you. How do we show our children love? Especially when we're not brought up like that. Okay, um, if you're not brought up uh, with, definitely, people uh, are brought up with love. One way or the other, your parents must have shown you love. If they paid your school fees, they showed you love. I, 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 I think it's the same me. part. They never said it. If I, I have you. I think it's, friend, of course we yes, know that. Yeah, I think it's the same part. 
If they fed you, they showed you love. Definitely they love. In this age, it's good for mm. the children to hear it. Huh, to hear it consistently from you. While you are getting them things, I'm doing this because I love you, darling. You know mommy loves you. Oh, you are my love. You know I love you. Ah, you know daddy loves you. And also when you're correcting, when you're done with correcting and all of that, and you are reviewing the correction, you also explain it. I'm correcting you because I love you. I don't want you to turn out this. I don't want this to be the repercussion of the. This is usually, if you don't do it this way, this is what you get, which is better. And of course, the child will tell you that good part is better. Then you say, that's why. It's a show of love to you. I love you. That's why I'm doing this to you. It's always good to say it and right, to express awesome. okay. it. It's always good to say it. Can you hear me? Now, I said rain. I said I said it wasn't raining that time, but it started okay. raining now. <laughs> and I, I just hope it doesn't affect the network. Can you now hear you're me? back. Okay. So I was saying I was saying that it's good to express it, to say it, to affirm it. Yes, mommy. Mommy loves I can you, hear daddy you. loves you. And then you say, Oh, they try to repeat the same thing. I love you, mommy. They want a hug. That time, uh, how can you just say you want to hug your mommy? You want to hug your <laughs> Uh, how? Where? From where? Where is it all coming from? You know? But that doesn't mean that they don't love you. But we need to show all of those things because it's part of what people use to deceive teenagers, children alive. Those who can show it. Mommy, let me... Those who can show it will be like... I'll just cut you oh, short. Those who can show it will show uh, it. Let me just say something. Showing, those who are showing it will be like, oh... Wow, this is... I you tell see, you, I tell you. But like your father now, mm -hmm. if your daughter has said, I love you, I love you several times, and you have treated your daughter so well, no boy outside that is sagging his trousers will come to your daughter and tell your daughter, I love you, and, and the girl will feel so tripped and taken away. The girl will be like, oh yeah, my daddy has said that to me several times. So you've got to it's really be the kind of love you're talking about. So that's it, we need to show mm -hmm. love. All yes, right, that's, that's part of the parenting that we're talking about and then i'll just say a few um, words and i'll okay, get back to you but, no, the network is breaking but i can hear you but it's breaking oh, the network wow, is breaking but wow. i'll just say a few it's words but I, I was I able guess, to get you i heard you i okay, yes i'll okay. just uh, but i heard you I, I got all the points i'll just say a few things on what you have said and i will let you just continue to whatever you have for us today okay. you know about okay. i think i i didn't i didn't interpret the question or the statement very well it's not that they didn't love us they do, but we're not shown. So how do we go about, and that's exactly what you have said. They, we, of course, we know that they love us, but we, like, we can't really see it physically. And maybe the cuddling part. You know, sometimes I just see my children and say, Mommy, I want to hug you. Sometimes I get tired. Okay, come. Because even if I'm tired, I have to hug. Mommy, can I have a cuddle? Mommy, you didn't kiss me. Uh, even when they are in bed at night and the, the kisses are not complete, they're like, okay. Ah, I'm still waiting. I'm, I'm not sleeping yet, Mike. You know, they're still waiting for you to come kiss them. Those are the things that we didn't we didn't uh, experience or something like that of course and i'm just going to use myself as an example right now i don't think i've shared this anywhere before i remember the first word i told me i love you i was in gss2 i was shaking it was so strange to me i was like oh i was i was shaking i, I in fact i don't think i've said this anywhere before i remember it was in my it was in the classroom and the boy came in front of me my friend i was in gss2 and said esther i love you i'm like I was shaking. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to, what to look. I don't know if I should just, I don't know. I was just confused. I was shaking like, what strange word. And that is exactly what you're saying today. Imagine if I've heard that over and again from my mom or from my dad, or it's just common. It will not be, it, will, it won't be big deal to me. It won't be big deal. So please don't let us fail on our path. Don't let us fail on our path. God bless us. Go ahead, mommy. All right. I just I want to so keep it open something... for you today. If, I'm just yes. going to close the note that I put here. I'll be doing videos on them later. <laughs> Just go ahead. It's your day. I was talking about us not boxing our children, not um, relying on or thinking we're going to have total, I mean, um, depending on us just having control, control, control. Let's release control. Let's let them make their mistakes. Let's let them take decisions. And then let's see, let's guide them through. Let's guide them through. The Bible says that we should train our children in the way they should, not that we should dictate to them. 
the way they should go. Let's train them in the way. Let's train them. Let's pull them through. Let's see how they will keep moving in all of these things. And, you know, is in the cost of doing all of this, that discipline too comes in. Discipline too comes in. We nurture them through every structure that we have put in place intentionally, through all the structures we have put in place intentionally, and then we get them to do the right thing, to go in the right path by not boxing them, by not boxing them. Let's fix our mind that there are other things our children need to learn beyond the maths, English, and all the school academic work. Yeah. Let's fix our mind on that. Sometimes because we want a way of escape as parents, we want to excuse ourselves. We get their whole lifestyle, their lifestyle or their day time fixed up in a particular different things that, okay, you do this, you do this, you have to do this. And the child wants to do something. We don't even understand how our children learn. Sometimes we don't even understand them. And I think it starts from there. Parents must learn to understand how their child learns. If you have five children, you must know how each of them learn. Because it's not likely they will learn the same unique child. Way. It's not likely they will learn the same way. Mm. Some children are uh, audiovisual in learning, even up to their academics uh, style, they do it. Some children are visual in learning, some children are auditory in learning, some children are kinesthetic, uh, kinesthetic in learning, some children love reading a lot. So if you, for example, have your first child as a reader who likes to read and read and read and read, and then you and then you have your second child and then you have your second child as um, a visual learner if you are not sure or if you don't understand that there is difference between two of them you just want to kill that second child that that second child is not learning you are not reading mm. your book i said you should go and read i said you should. that's why we have back then we didn't even know this was how they are but then we just understand that in our classes Back then, we just understand that in our classrooms, we have people who would just attend lecture and then they come to the class and they write the exams and they pass it 100%, they are good to go. And we have others, they won't even be in the lecture hall, but let them have the lecture notes. By the time they are done with reading your notes, even you that was in class, that copied the notes, that listened to oh. the lecturer, they will get a better grade. Some persons, they know, and then that's why you should know yourself. So as a parent, know your child so that you can know how you're going to make your child learn anything you want to teach your child. Some Thank you so much, Mommy. Good, they are very good at, as, I'm, as my mommy is doing it, I, I know how I'm going to do it. But if you're not available to show that child, you, you just said, sweep the house, I'm going out, please sweep. By the time I come back, I want to see the house properly cleaned and everything. And the child is the type that needs to know how to really sweep. And then you come back, the floor is not properly swept, it's not properly mopped. Everywhere there is, you know, there is map and different maps of different countries on your floor. Or the floor, if it's rough, it's not properly taken care of. And then you're thinking, oh, and then you begin to shout. But I told you to do it, the child is like, I did it. What did you do? What did you do? Mm, the child needs to really show, model it. Let your child, just know how your child learns and teach your child in that way. It will be a lot easy for you. I'm not saying it's gonna be easy for you trying to pull it through one after the other, but then at the end of the day, in a short while, you will discover that your parenting journey has been made easier. Imagine if you have your Okay, for example, now I have my 13, my 12, and my 10 plus, my 13 plus, my 14, my 12 plus, and my 10 plus who are cooking very well. Now, so sometimes when I go out and I come back, before I come back, I've already made call. Okay, cook this, cook this, cook this. Anywhere I am, I'm rest assured that they can undo themselves and undo their young, younger brother who is still way younger than them. I'm sure that they can arrange the house. I'm sure that they can. Now, that makes my life better. At the end of the day, eh, it's me and you, the parents, that this thing will pay. Even if it's going to pay them, but it will pay you too. They're going to gain from it. 
So the child can take decisions by themselves. Sometimes you just pull up some tests. Pull up some tests. Get the, they ask you questions, you're like, okay, what if, what would you have done in this case? And they give you options. And then you're like, okay, if I'm not around, what would you have done? And they say it. And you discover that it's most likely what you want to tell them. That helps them to develop their thinking ability. Now we have parents who are doing everything, thinking for their children. That's why we have parents today that it is still their parents that is thinking and making decisions for them. It's, they want to buy a car, they still call their mom. Mommy, I want to buy a car. What brand should mm -hmm. I buy? Why? Because they were not trained to My think. wife needs a car. Should I buy it? My, my wife, should I buy it? Should I? You know all of those things. Why? Because while the child, while we're grooming them, we didn't teach them how to think. We are always solving their problems. Stop solving all their problems. No critical Let thinking at all. To solve hmm. problems. You know, back then, even our parents knew it. Oh even if it's God. not fully termed the way we are terming it now, they knew it. Your mother would literally tell you if they ask you, go and bring plates from the kitchen or go and bring something. And then you turn back and ask your mother, eh, where is the broom? Your mother will say it's on my head. Your mother is mm. expecting you. Back then, they're expecting you to figure out you live in this house. How dare you ask me where broom is? You should have known by now where we keep our broom in the house. So if I'm not at home, you should be able to know where the broom is. But here, sure. in this age and in this time, our children would ask us, Mom, you will serve them food, and they will say, ask you, where is food? Where? A five-year-old asking the mom, where is food? Mommy, you've not, uh, mommy, my spoon. And then you quickly rush, we, 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 to the kitchen, you gotta bring spoon. Hey, mommy, I'm not using spoon, I'm using spoon. You rush back again, bah, 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 you gotta bring, ah. <laughs> You're not helping yourself and helping the child. Not at Let all. The children learn not at all. Think by how you train them. Stop thinking for them. I'm not saying you should do, not in the context of don't think for them, because you are they are still children under your watch, under your care. You need to make some right decisions on their behalf, but there are these other little, But we should things. allow them for critical thinking. That's what you mean. Mommy, I'm going allow to stop you because I want you to say something. Yeah, because you see, time is fast spent. This time is just running and running, and I don't want to keep us. Oh, so I'm going to stop you now, goodness. and I will just tell you, there is something that I heard you say, uh, one of your sermons recently, when we during the family week in church, and I would like you to okay. say that again about uh, about the issue of uh, you cited an example when the, your son wanted to have the snack that he was supposed to take to school, and you gave an okay. uh, like you said, if you have it, you know. So I, I'm going to give you time to talk about that last. But the truth is that about common mistake in parenting is not what we can just talk about in an hour. See, even for me, yeah. I have a whole lot of points down in my notes. So I believe by God's grace, God is going to give us another opportunity to have another live discussion on common mistakes in parenting. However, before I let, uh, allow Mommy Shola to say that, and we're going to call it a day for today because I really want to be time conscious. I will just say a few things. See, what she is saying, I just want to let you know, is, is understanding the unique child is very important. Every mm. child is unique in their own way. Even a child yeah. who is on the spectrum is a special ability. They learn in a special way. It's way, for you yes. as parents to understand the unique child. How understand mm. how, do, how does it work? Even as a teacher or caregiver, it's our duty to understand the unique child. If this aspect is done, every other thing will fall in place. And also, in the name of, uh, I want to have positive parenting. I want to be a positive parent. I want my parenting skills to be on, 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 top, on, on the top or something like that. Then we end up not, not giving our children choices. It is wrong. We have to give mm. them choice. And that is that, that are the thing she has said. I'm just saying it in another yeah. way. We have to give them choice. See, sometimes give them choice for breakfast. Do you want cereal or you want oats? Make sure the two choices you are giving them, you are okay with them. Make sure the two yeah. choices you are giving your children, you are okay with them. But please, see, in the process of giving them choice, you are allowing their critical thinking to be activated. Let them think. Mm. Let them take responsibility. Let them not feel we cannot do anything on our own. But when you allow them to take choices sometimes, we give them choice and they take decision, it helps their high IQ. The cognitive is going to keep developing. It's very important, especially for those who have uh, younger ones. Some of us, as I say, having our children that are five years, four years, three years, it is very important. Let's give them choices and let them you know, decide. 
For breakfast, I want to give you oats. I want to give you cereal. Which one do you want? A child is, especially for those who are very stubborn, is a very key way. It's a very good method for you to deal with your child who you think is stubborn. Choices. You want to go out and say, let's go. I'm not going and the child is throwing tantrum. Give the child choice. Would you like me to carry you to the car or you would like to walk on your feet? See, the two ways. The child will go anyways. Yeah. Would you like me to carry you to the car or would you like I will walk by yourself? Make sure that your two choices that you're giving your children, you are okay by so, it either way. What you want. Yes, but it's very important for us to let them have choices. Let them think. Let them engage them. Just like what mommy said. You're five years old, need spoon, and you are, ah, 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 my God. Sometimes I just look at myself, oh, you liar. Mm. It is not right. And sometimes you think, some parents think it's, ah, especially those who waited like me. Ah, omotimodurobi. I will not be at fault. See, it must be intentional. Mm -hmm. Even if you are waiting for 24 years. I know somebody who waited for 24 years. One of my spiritual mothers. I know a whole lot of... See, it is going to be a big failure on our part to fail on our children. And it's going to be a big slap from above. And that will not be our portion. I know this is not uh, the spiritual aspect of parenting essentials, but we cannot overemphasize the place of God and That's failing it. as Christians. You know, whatever you believe in, you cannot fail on your children. You can't fail on your children. So, uh, see, we have a whole lot of things here. We can't go ahead with it today. We are going to be having Mommy Shola again, and I will try as much as possible also to make more videos on common mistakes in parenting. However, before we go today, I want yeah. Mommy Shola to... On, uh, I, did, uh, can you remember the aspect I was saying? Uh, you, 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 were sh you shared yes, with one of your sons in family time. All right, please go yes. ahead and share with everybody, Mommy. Oh, all, right, all right. So what, what um, the example she mentioned would make me say that as a parent, you know your responsibility when you can separate or differentiate your uh, parental responsibility from your child's accountability, you'll be able to know the right thing to do part time or over any issue. Your child, what your child should be accountable for is different from what is your own responsibility as a parent. For that issue, it was more like, okay, my son was quite younger then. And then we, um, I usually used to buy snacks that I take to school, the uh, juice and biscuits. And then I'll buy in cartons so that I can save money. I don't buy one by one, you understand? So I'll buy in cartons and then he knows he's there. And then when I wanted to buy it, the plan is, is for school, not for home use. You come home and at any time you take biscuit and juice. Uh -uh, kilo de <laughs> you know, and then my child sees it and he, he will keep coming and be asking. He will keep coming and be asking. And then, you know, my mother, this and I will give him. Or sometimes when I want to have my peace, like what we used to do, like, I beg, let my head cool down. Go and take, let me rest. <laughs> you know, I just want a break for myself. I don't want pressure from him. I'm like, go ahead, take, let me rest. Then sometimes also, I after a while, I changed the position where I used to keep it. I kept it in a place that is where I know that his hand can't get to easily. And then he will trouble, disturb, and all of that. And I, it's me that will still carry a climb up because of my height. Bring it down from... The one day I thought to myself, I said, ah, Shola, you won't kill yourself oh, on this matter. This thing is small school not for home so i planned and decided that okay let's see how we can see if discipline will help us and i just figured one way out which was the fact that he asked me mommy can i have juice and biscuits? i said ah, no problem you can have juice and biscuits but you know it's for school right he said yes i said fine i can give it to you but if i give it to you now you won't be taking juice and biscuits to school tomorrow you will only go with your lunch your food so during the other snack time you won't have snack to eat then he, he he did as if he was thinking he said no i'll prefer i'll take it to school then in less than in seconds he said yes i don't want i won't take it to school i will eat it now i said you eat it now he said yes he thought i was joking he thought i was joking so I gave it to him, he, he had himself and enjoyed himself. And then the following day, the mother spirit and the love and all of that, I actually brought it out. 
then it occurred to me that if you break this now, you're going to have a lot of work to do to get them to understand every order of your no. Because your child must learn that life in life there is no as an answer. Everything is there about yes, 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 yes. No is also an answer in life. And so I, I just shut my face and then kind of helped myself, held myself. It wasn't easy, but I held myself and I didn't, he didn't take it to school. And so he didn't take it to school. He came back and started giving me the story of how every other person was eating snack and didn't have snack and all that. But I said, but you had your own yesterday, I told you. And since then, oh my God, he never asked me for school snack to be taken at home. And that settled the whole thing. And I gave myself a good result. Like, oh, so this thing can work. Oh, it worked. And I enjoyed myself. I tell so you. Parents, we, yes. We must learn how to balance our parental responsibility with our child's accountability. Let, him, let them be accountable for their actions. They didn't do their mm. own work. Don't start covering up. Don't call their teacher and say, oh, my child, I was not at home. That's why my child is, was sick. That's why he didn't do his own work. You, you should even be the one to tell the teacher, he didn't do his own work for this reason, for this reason, for this reason. He should be dealt with for that. And then let any measure of correction they want to give him in school be given to him. Don't cover up. Don't rush and do it. Some of us, we are, we, you see those things that we used to do in school. You copy your classmates, your first mate's assignment and copy matric number. That's how you also want to be copying for your children now. And it's getting worse by the day. <laughs> So thank you so much, mommy. See, we don't have oh all my time. The time and is outside, and yeah. then we just keep enjoying the journey. <laughs> thank you That's so it. very much, mommy. No, I wish Good to be here. I wish we have more time. I wish we have more no, time. See, I'm getting blessed. I'm getting blessed. In Jesus stories, we will always have time. Amen. 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 See, Amen. see, this is a topic I would like us to say to discuss again. And now we, I know Mommy Pat is right there, and I know I've not spoken to you, but I'm, I'm, taking, I'm saying it openly. I am going to bring Mommy Pat on this same topic by the grace of God next month. I yes. know Mommy Pat will make time for me. Come on, mistaken parenting. Mommy, I'll call you. Your daughter is right here. So this is see, it's a very compound topic. And we are going to have to special up, but again on this same topic. You see, personally, I have a lot of things to say about common mistake in parenting, but I want my mommies to say a lot first. You know, I like to hear them. Then I know that, okay, I'm not wrong after all. They actually say in my mind, it gives me, it gives reassurance. So I want to say thank you so much, mommy, for coming. See, she has said a lot. And I'm just going to rephrase what she has said now. See, as a parent, I made a video and I said, your words must be gold. Let your word be God and not garbage. How do I mean? My child That's doesn't it. listen. My child doesn't listen. Check yourself as parent. If I don't call my child 10 times, only on the 10th time, that is when my child will listen. What did you do different at the 10th time? Why not bring mm. what you did different on the 10th time to the first point? It means mm. you, have, you, you didn't value your words. You made your word to the garbage. Just, she doesn't mean it. Buki, mm. mommy is still joking. You can see. Buki, am I not calling you? I'm calling you now. She knows, mommy just, she's, she's kidding. She's not serious. So we have to value our words and ensure that our words are gold. We carry them. Yeah. We put power. That is when we can, we, can, we have children that listen. See, you go through with your consequences. Don't give empty threat to your children. If I yes. stand up now, first time. If I stand up now, if I come now, you know, it's an empty threat. Your word is already garbage. Make sure your word as parent, caregiver, it's a, a gold, gold, carry them, value them. Go through with your mm -hmm. consequences. And that is why I said in one of my video about clear directions. See, it's the lot that we need to talk about here. Sometimes the child that yeah. you're talking to might not understand. That is not why we are here today. Exactly. We're talking about common mistakes in parenting. So we are still going to go back to clear direction. You that you're talking to a child of five step years or like ten step, years. Method. You're talking to a child of ten years, like twenty years. It's not a clear direction. But if you're mm -hmm. sure that your directions are clear enough and it's age appropriate, then value your words. Go through with every consequences. Don't let them see it as empty threat. Make make sure it's good. See, it's, it's a very big thing. It's a very big word. 
Uh, but we have to stop all the same. And I want to say thank you so much, Mommy Shola. And I'm, I'm ensure that even our next week, my next week uh, episode on parenting essential, is it going to be a common mistake? I have a very heavy burden on this topic. My heart is so heavy yeah. on this. And I believe there's a lot the Lord wants us to talk about in common mistake in parenting. So, I said something before. So. I said, you don't know how to swim, but you jump into the sea. Same thing. A lot of people, they got married. I love that guy. I love that girl. Let's get married. Come on, let's do it. Yes, I do. You put ring. But they, they're not thinking about what are the things that we come with coming together to lovers. What are the things? The it's going beyond I love you. I, I'm telling you, mommy, I've seen a lot of parents that I felt like literally slapping them. Because they have no idea about parenting. And they are married, yeah. they are pregnant. How do we go about this? These are the errors. And that is why, see, to make our world a better place, you have to start with your family. The community around you will be okay. Your, your children, they will be a very good adult. They will go out there and correct all these mistakes that we are seeing around. So please don't let yeah. us fail on our part. I know a lot of people, they won't take time to listen to this kind of message. They rather go online and listen to what is not going to benefit their lives. See, if it is jargons we are saying here, you will see thousands of people who are here. But those of us that we are privileged by the grace of God to hear this and to learn this, please let's spread the news. Let's spread the news. We cannot afford to fail on our children and we will not fail yeah. on our children in Jesus' name Amen. and in whatever name you believe on. So thank you so much, Mommy, for coming once again. It's, it's glad in my heart. And thank you, everybody, for connecting. I am always very happy when I see people here that this little, little girl, this small Esther, Eliya Chikmini, asked you to come and you honored my invitation. See, I'm not taking it for granted. I am not taking it for granted. It is a, I see it as a very rare privilege to have you all here. Just as I, I always say, I feel like coming to your house and to give you a hug individually. However, that is not possible. I want to say thank you. Thank you for connecting. Thank you for believing God in me. And please to support us on the, the vision guide. Please go to our YouTube page. I'm having a request. See, I have a lot of people that have joined today. If you do me a favor, go to our, face, our YouTube channel. And please subscribe. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't buy. Just click pump, pump. It doesn't hurt. Just subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So anytime... We drop new video, you can get notification. See, it's not just about, it's not just about uh, parenting essentials. We have keeping it through PMP. We have uh, with our family life and um, PMP Fun City. So there's a whole lot more that is coming. Just go ahead, please subscribe and please share. And anytime you're privileged to, to go to our YouTube channel, please drop your comment. We are so glad to always read your comments. I can say that. Sorry, I'm trying to see the information. I'm so glad to, to always read your comment. All of us at the Vision Guide, we're always glad to read your comments. Oh, somebody's here. Somebody dropped comments. It's glad in our heart. So please, this is the only request that we are giving out, and that is the only way you can support us. And please, I said it the last time, if you are not following Parenting Up, with your lacking tie on Facebook, you are missing out. Just go ahead and follow my mama on her Facebook page and Instagram. Intentional parenting yeah. up, intentional parenting up. I'm telling you, you know it's not going to be a waste of time. It's just a click, but your life is going to be blessed. Your life will be transformed. And if you're free, also, see, I place this Christian center. See, I don't, I try as much as possible to make time to make that that I'm in service. See, it has always been a blessing. Like last month, now it was all about family time. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. I learned a lot. So please connect and let's keep learning and let's keep spreading the good news yeah. as much people as we meet. Please, let's pass on the positive parenting. Let's share it. Don't let us be selfish. There is a whole lot more that we're going to talk about on common uh, mistakes in parenting. Once again, I want to say thank you so much, my mommy, Shola Akintayo, for coming thank on this you. live discussion of parenting essentials. And you know I love you and I appreciate you so much. God bless you. Thank you, everybody, for joining. God bless you. God bless thank you. God bless you. Everybody. This video is going to be available on our on our Facebook and our YouTube channel within the next 24 hours. So go ahead, watch it again, share with friends and family, drop your comments. And uh, if you have any question, if you want a counseling section, a private section, advice on marriage and children, uh, uh, positive parenting, if you have a concern, you can always send us an email on info at the vision guide ltd.com. You can send us an email on info at the vision guide ltd.com also divisionguide at gmail.com you can also visit us on our youtube uh, on our website 
at uh, thevisionguideltd.com, www.thevisionguideltd.com. We do well by responding to you as soon as we can. So please, God bless you, God bless you. Once again, this is all from all of us from The Vision Guide. I say we love you, Mama. I love you so much. God bless you, Mama. God bless you. I appreciate it. Bye for now, everybody. Thank you, Mommy. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. God bless you.